hi everyone welcome to my channel my name is jenny and you are in turkey headquarter so today's video is about oni of Ife and one of his girlfriend they are having um a conflict right now that's how i'll put it because this woman right here um is a very good friend good lover or good girlfriend of oni of Ife. You know, if you see them both here inside this plane that you are watching, you think that she's an Olori. She's not though. She's just um Oni of Ife's one of Oni of Ife's girlfriend, and you know they have been traveling together, doing a lot of things together. You know, she feels that Oni loves her more than other women that Oni got married to. So she was shocked that all this wedding that is happening did not reach her. Now. They said before Oni of Ife got married to Olorimiri and first that Oni already settled her. They said Oni bought a house for her um, in at Banana Island. If you know Banana Island in Lagos, Nigeria, um, that place worth millions of naira. Like for you to get a house there or buy a house there, it worth millions of naira. So you can see that Oni settled her. Not only the house. They said Oni also bought lexus jeep for her lexus is it lexus jeep or lexus for her plus the why um plus the house and all that things that are not um all, all, all the rich rich things you know that only bought for her you know just to settle her but no she's still not happy about it basically people say that it in fact because of how she was doing only already dumped her because she go about saying nasty thing about Oni of Ife and Olori Miriam. She was see the one that accused Olori Miriam of using Juju to marry Oni of Ife. Now let's view this thing now. Oni of Ife is a king that is in charge of like two hundred and something deities. How how can Olori Miriam use Juju to marry Oni of Ife? I don't think Juju can touch Oni of Ife because Oni of Ife himself is the Juju. If someone can be in charge of 200 and something deities, so there is no deity that can come and fight him unless the, the fighting is from God. I don't know if you understand because he's already the deity. If you can have 200 and something deities, one deity cannot come and harm you. No. So I didn't believe that Oni of Ife uh, Olorimiri and used Juju to hold Oni of Ife to marry her. So this is what this woman was saying. In fact, she goes about telling people that um, Oni proposed to her and she refused, um, blah, 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 and all of that. But that was not the case. Oni was the person that dumped her. Before Oni did, Oni bought her a house and a car and other things that, other small, small things, even gave her some cash. But she's still not happy. She's still like, you know, going about, still saying the same thing. Now, indirectly, Oni has from some people released um, some, you know, to tell people that he never proposed to this woman. Because this woman right here is making it look as if she rejected the king. Now, some Yorubas are not happy about that. They said, you can't reject the king, that this woman... We never propose to her because she's always wearing white and white to travel with the king. In her head, she's already an Olori. That's why when Olori, um, when Olori Miriam and Oni of Ife got married, a lot of black men was coming on her way. They said it's this woman that was gingering all those things. Even Queen Naomi, you see, these are one of those women. For this woman like this to do this thing to. Olori Miriam, that Oni already got married to. Just look at Queen Naomi, that is very quiet. So, for Oni of Ife to be traveling around with this woman, doing a lot of things with her, and later um, dumped her, that means that there is a nasty character that she has that Oni never wanted. And for me, I feel that the character is her licking mouth. Yes. This kind of person, forget that Oni love women a lot. We already know that. That is one of his weaknesses. He loves women. But honestly, Oni of Ife will never marry someone with a leaky mouth. Just like this woman. Oni of Ife can never marry this woman you are seeing right here and Abike Jagaban. Abike Jagaban is popular and is someone that comes on social media to, to quarrel, you know, 
to make noise and do all those sorts of things. Even if only like women, he can never marry Abike Jagaban and this woman right here. Because um, if only marries this kind of woman that comes on social media to release what they discuss and also um, call uh, Ulori Miriam some nasty names, that means she's not qualified to be a queen. Forget about that Oni is marrying um, so many women. That is some, apart from they are classy, they have money and all of that uh, that people are saying, there are some characters of them that, yes, that qualify them to be a queen. If you watch all the wives that Oni of Ife married, you've never seen any of them come out on social media and be making noise. The only place you see them on social media is um, doing their thing like... Um, selling their products, um, you know, showcasing what they are they they are into and all of that. But this kind of woman that has leaking mouth, this woman can come out and leak the highest palace secret if she eventually became a wife. And I think it's those qualities that Oni of Ife did not see on her. For Oni of Ife should be going out with her for so many years and let her settle her and dumped her and marry other women. That means she she's not qualified. I'm not saying that Oni is the most righteous. But another angle is, look at this beautiful woman. This woman is very beautiful from hair to toe. She's doing well. She's a lawyer. She's beautiful. Um, she's single. Why not her move on? She will see a better man that will marry her. If Oni did not marry you, other man will still marry you. Well, I wonder why um, if Oni did not marry them, they will come out and be making noise. One thing, one thing I just like thinking is, it seems that there is something about this Ulori or Queen title that, or when you become the king's wife. Because all of them already has money. Like all these women has money. Like this woman right here, she's comfortable, right? Then I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking aloud, like maybe um, they are marrying Oni because of the fame. Or she, she really wants to be Oni of Ife's wife, maybe because of the fame, or I don't think they're paying them money for being Oni of Ife's wife, or is government paying them, or is there something that we, that are commoners, that are not familiar with um, Ileife custom, that we don't know about this marrying of a king? Because honestly, people that you don't even expect, especially Yorubas, they like to marry king even if that king has 20 wives they will accept to marry no matter the age and everything like i don't know is there something that they are getting when they become only a face wife or they just like love that title um the king's wife or Olori or something like that or his or her royal majesty or her highness i don't know is it all about the name they will achieve or their status will change or whatever, whatever. I don't, I, I don't know if there is anything special they are getting because you can't tell me another. Look at this beautiful woman right here. What are you dragging? You are beautiful. A lot of men want you. People that has money, people that you can build with. Why um, do you bend on spoiling Oni's name, spoiling Olori Miriam's name, just because maybe you thought you'd be the head wife? Man, honestly, Oni of Ife really knows how to treats these women that makes all of them to want him to marry him yes i think he he's a king and he treats them like queens i feel so look at how she's doing video freely and only we just looking straight you know all the enjoyment all the traveling that you know she had with only of ife still only did not marry her wow in fact, they said even some if Oni is going for some events, she goes with Oni. But for me, Oni of if has settled you, gave you a house, bought a car for you, gave you some cash and other little little things that we can that are not mentioned. What what why as in what are you looking for again? They shared beautiful moment together. Why coming out to tarnish Oni of Ife's image just because you know become wife again? That nonsense. That is nonsense. I wonder why people that used to be friends again, when they fall out, they will start dishing out what uh, 
what they know about the person just like some friends you'll be friends with them you share secrets with them when you guys um fell off that you guys are no longer friends they will start you know saying all your secrets telling it to the world that is childish so this woman right here does not qualify to be one of only of your face wife because this kind of woman is going to scatter the palace in fact she will um release all the whole secret that the whole world are not aware about the palace and i'm happy um uh, that um only of her face did not even waste time to answer her or all those things and but she never knew that what she did is very very wrong for you to release someone's voice notes so she was discussing with Oni and she was recording it just to release it or is it for um, will I say um, maybe she's she's been wanting to blackmail Oni or Fifi or anyway I just say let me do this video and tell you guys that Oni did not propose to her anything Oni did not propose to her she was waiting for Oni's proposal I think in her head she felt Oni proposed yeah.